Good morning everyone. I want to thank you for joining our Sunday morning worship. Uh, before we start our worship today, I would like to read a portion of scripture, Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 to 11. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men. And being found in appearance as a man he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even the death of the cross therefore god also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every other name that at that name of jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time you've given us, Lord. I want to thank you, Lord, uh, that you are still with us, Lord, and you're keeping us safe in your arms, Lord. We want to acknowledge, Lord, that you're the Lord of lords, you're the King of kings, and you are, you are uh, the highest, Lord. No one, is, uh, no one can be compared to you, Lord. Lord, as we start our worship this morning, Lord, We want to remind we be reminded that you have given us your son Jesus Christ Lord who is the name above every other name Lord. We want to pray Lord that we worship you and praise you with the highest of joy that we have Lord. Be with us Lord as we uh, continue this service Lord and pray Lord that you will lead us and guide us in our lives Lord. In Jesus name I pray. Amen.
ஜீவனும் நீரே என் ஜீவனும் நீரே ராஜராஜனாம் என் சார்பும் நீரே தேவனும் நீரே என் ஜீவனும் நீரே ராஜராஜனாம் என் சார்பும் நீரே
church's one foundation is Jesus Christ our Lord. This hymn was written to defend the Orthodox Christian faith in the South African church where there was a lot of problem there. As we sing this next hymn, let us be reminded of the faith that our foundation was built on. It was Christ and Christ alone. Praise that 
merciful and loving heavenly father we want to thank you and we want to praise you for blessing us with another day that we are able to gather virtually to celebrate you we acknowledge that every breath that we take comes from you and we are ever more grateful oh lord even at this time we want to pray for all the ministries that are happening in our church We want to pray for the Kapung Cell Group. We want to pray for our Friday Bible studies. We want to pray for our Saturday programs. And we also want to pray for our Sunday services. We want to pray for the evangelism that is taking place through our church. We want to pray for all the ministries that are being done by each and every individual in the church who are taking their time and effort to spread the gospel of Master. We want to pray for all the agencies in the church. We want to praise you for all the for all their efforts that they are doing to grow in you. Master, we want to pray for all the blessings that we have received through this ministry, so Lord. We pray that as a church, we will continue to grow in you. that we will continue to bear to bear fruit and even in the midst of this pandemic oh lord we pray that we will be able to adapt to the situations that is happening around us that we will not be limited to what is happening around us that we will be able to adapt and to be able to grow in our ministries that we are doing master we want to pray for all the church leaders We thank you for them. We praise you for them. You have set them there for a purpose, O Lord, and may your will be done through them in our church. Bless each and every one of them. Bless their families. Bless their ministries, O Lord. May it bring more fruit to our church. We also want to pray for our pastor. We want to thank you for the word and the messages that you are giving us through him we pray that you will continue to guide him fill him with your wisdom your power your knowledge and your understanding as he leads us through this pandemic once again oh lord we want to commit our church it is not ours but it is yours and we pray that you will continue to guide us as you are doing right now we give you all glory honor praise and worship In Jesus name we pray. Amen.
as the spirit of god leads shall we pray gracious father we thank you lord for this morning that you given us a lord to worship and to honor you gracious father we know that lord you are an infinite god who cares for our nation and for our lives individually in all areas of lord lord at this time of economic crisis and pandemic and rather a lot of uncertainty your father we continue to seek your help in terms of security and peace oh lord we seek lord that you give wisdom to the leaders of this country to guide this nation out of this crisis oh lord we seek your help oh lord to aid the poor and needy during this time oh lord provide them oh lord with their needs and give each and every one of them hope oh father we pray that lord the poor and the needy can return to their jobs with hope to continue running their lives we thank you lord for each and every one of the volunteers the backline workers the doctors the security personnel and everyone oh lord involved who have worked tirelessly for the needy and the poor during this pandemic we thank you lord that truly from our hearts for these people who have done these jobs for the sake of humanity and love we thank you lord for each and every one of them as for us oh father encourage us oh lord who have enough to continue to share our resources with those who are needy oh father Again, O oh Lord, we earnestly thank you to trust our security in you because apart from you, we can do nothing. We continue to praise and honor you, Lord. In Yeshua's precious name we pray. Amen. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it, it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Today, the scripture portion is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 14. verses 6 to 15 verse 6 now the men of juda approached joshua at gilgal and caleb son of jephune the kenizzite said to him you know what the lord said to moses the man of god at kadesh barnea about you and me i was 40 years old when moses the servant of the lord sent me from kadesh barnea to explore the land and i brought him back a report according to my convictions but my brothers who went up with me made the hearts of the people melt with fear i however followed the lord my god wholeheartedly so on that day moses swore to me the land on which your feet had walked will be your inheritance and that of your children forever because you have followed the lord my god wholeheartedly Now then just as the Lord promised he has kept me alive for 45 years since the time he said this to Moses while Israel moved about in the desert so here I am today 85 years old I'm still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out I'm just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then now give me this hill country that the lord promised me that day you yourself heard that the anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified but the lord helping me i will drive them out just as he said then joshua blessed caleb son of jephune and gave him hebron as his inheritance so hebron has belonged to caleb son of jephune the kenizzite ever since because he followed the lord the god of israel wholeheartedly Hebron used to be called Kiryat Arba after Arba who was the greatest man among the Anakites then the lion had rest from war
May God bless the reading of his word. Amen. In the Terrence of the Water, the Puri, Yosua, Padinanga of the Adigaram, Ara the Vasna Torangi, Padinanda the Vasna Muria, Ara the Vasna. Upward of the Yuda in Putira, Kilgaile, Yosua in Adetil and Dargal, Kenasiana, Ibno in Kumarnage, Kali on an Oki, Kadis Paranile, Kartar, Kartar in a Kuritum. Umay Kuritum, Devodi, Manasanaki, Mosi Vodu, Sonna Varte in the Rivi, Yelavi, Pasano. They said they were Parker, Kartar in the Asanagi, Mosi, Yene, Kadis Parirundi, Anupagirabode, Yenaki, Narpudi, Paida Irundi, Yene Irititin Ulabadi, our Marucheri Kondo and the Tavosanum. Analum, a Nordic Kuda Vanda, in Sagodara, Janathin Iridite. Karea Pandin Argal Nano in Devonai Kartare Uttamai Pin Patine Bada Vasano Analile Mose Ni in Devonai Kartare Uttamai Pin Patan Padia Uncal Medita Desum Unacum Unpeligulacum Endendricum Sogandrama Erka Kadavi and Soli Anaita Kata Vasano Ipodum Ido Karta Sonabodi in a weirode Katar, Israeler, Onanderatil, Sanjerekil, Kartar and the Warte, Mose Vodi Soli, Ipolde, Narpat in the Versamitri. Ido, Indre, non Enbate in the Vaidulona. Padanora was no. Mose Yene, Anupigir and Nalile, Yeneke, Irenda and the Belen, Inalvaricum Yeneke, Irkerde, Yutatirke, Pokum. Varatuma irkarke Apoda the Yenaki Irenda Velen, Ipodum Yenaki irkarke Pananda was come. Agayal Kartar and Nalile Sonna in the Malinate Yenaka Tarum Angi Yenakirum Aranipan a peri a patanangalum Undendre near a Nalile Kelly Putiri Kartar in Nod Irparanal Kartar Sonna body. Our Galay Turati would win in Ram, by the Mona Dosano. Apollo de Yosua Ebunonin Kumarne a Kale Pai Asir Vedit Ebrone Avanak Sugandra Maga Kodatan, by the Nanga Dosano. Other art Kenasiana Yenbuvan Kumaranagia Kale Israel and Devana Yakartari Utoma in Patrabadi in all in all Matum Irkarabadi. Ebron Avanaku Sondra Maitre Padina in the Adosano Mune Ebronaki Kliak Arpa Yendrum Peri in the day Arpa Yenbon Yeno Kunukuli Peri a Manasana Irandan Yutum Oinda Dinar Desum Amadraitri Katadami the Vasaratin. Hi everyone, nice to see you all. Greetings to all of you in the sweet name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to thank the Lord and also our pastor, Reverend Justine Clarence, for giving me this opportunity to speak the word of God today. Now let's close our eyes in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this time you've given us, Father God, to learn more about your word, Father God. Be with us throughout this service. And Lord Jesus, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right. Today, we are going to see three words. Wholeheartedly, wait patiently, believe steadfastly. Taken from 
Joshua 14 verses 6 to 15. Now, when I ask you a question, what do the above words mean to you? Now, in Tamil, wholeheartedly is mulu manadode, wait patiently, porumayudan kathiru, and believe steadfastly is murumay yaha namlodia nambike viswasam elam devanaku kurka vidu. All right? Now, nam padna nam padnala adiharam aram. Vasanathuku poor the Kumindi, Adaku Mindi Ula Vasanangale parpo, Apadan Amluke, Belangum, Ipo the Enna Sagra Hill. Joshua Padanala Madhikaram, Ondri Lerinde, Anji Matam Papo, Inna Nadaka Zende. Now, what exactly is taking place? Here, the people. Huh? The Israelites were all gathered together and they are going to divide the land west of Jordan. Already we know Moses has divided the land east of Jordan. Huh? Reuben, Gad and half the tribe of Manasseh got the place. And now here there are another nine and a half tribe waiting for their inheritance. As you all know that Jacob had 12 sons. Where, uh, Joseph died in Egypt, and his two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, took his place, and the Levites were not counted for inheritance because God was their inheritance. All right? Now, who it was uh, headed by whom? Of course, Joshua. Joshua is now the leader after Moses' death. Joshua is there, and the chief priest also is there, and the heads of each tribe. Now, let's see, and how do they do it? They draw lots. You know, that was the common practice, even in the Old Testament, we read, I mean, when Moses was leading them, they drew lots, and now, also, they're going to draw lots. And when Jesus died, what did the people, the soldiers do? They cast lots to see who will get the garment. So it's a practice they normally do. Now, first, wholeheartedly. Without, whole, what does the word wholeheartedly mean? It means without any, what? Reservation, fully de devoted, passionate, enthusiastic, gutsy. Now, who was this person? Today, he's going to be a very important person in, a, in my message. Who is it? Can anybody guess? All right. If you know, it's good. If you don't know, let's look at Numbers chapter 14, verse 25, uh, 24. The Lord said, because my servant Caleb, what's his name? Caleb, has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land he went into, and his descendants will inherit it. God is telling this, you know, in Numbers. Now, in Tamil, it also sounds very nice. Innakamam padinalam adhikaram vasanam irvatinale. Innodiya tasanahya kale. Vera avye udayavanai irkira padinal uttamamai inne pin patri vanda padinalum. Aven poi vanda desatile avane sera panuvein. Aven sandadiyar ade sudandrit kolvar her. Okay? Now, Caleb. You remember in Numbers, Moses sent 12 people, 12 spies to go and see the uh, 
place, Hebron, west of Jordan. When these people came back, how did they come back? Hmm? They came back, do you think with good news? No. About all of them, except for Joshua and Caleb, blah, they said, oh, the land is so frightening, we are scared to go. Huh? The people there look like what? Giants. And we are just like small grass, look like grasshoppers, like caterpillars. Huh? Okay, now. So since our hero today is Caleb, let's look at him more closely, wholeheartedly. Jesus himself is telling, he followed me wholeheartedly. Now, Jacob, I mean, sorry, Caleb, the name Ca Caleb alone means wholehearted. Now, how many of us here wholeheartedly, mulu manadode, that's our karim nam sevo ma, elarkum seye asa. Mulu manadod. So, if you know the pair in the artham and draw, Mulu manadod. And it is a Hebrew name which means faithful or brave. And also, we see he was a man of vision. He saw Hebron, even though people say there are giants staying there, he saw it as his own. Man of vision. How many of you here have visions? You think of the future now and say, oh, yes, I'll be a multimillionaire. I'll be living in that huge castle. Huh? He was a, but here, Caleb is not like that. He was a man of vision. He was thinking. And also, he was a man of faith. This was a Mulavanaka Kanapatan. In and Ral, and then Panidendu Poira. Only this man brings good report. Perseverance, yes. Now, this man had been in Egypt, years of slavery there, and then in the desert, walking in the desert, and now, here today, we find him at the age of 85 years. Now, in Numbers 13.30, when he went to see the land, he came back and everybody was frightened. Uh, there the people looked like giants and the cities are walled. They, had, they caused fear among the people. But Caleb was a man of encouragement. In Numbers 13, verse 30, when, all were come, when they had come back and all gathered together, you know what Caleb did? He silenced the people and said, we should go. We can certainly do it. You see, he had the, he was a man of confidence, huh? and he encouraged the others. We can certainly do it. Whereas the others were complaining. So in, they were all in fear. Whereas this man, Caleb, had the strength of God in him. He had faith in God. Okay, let's continue to see about him. Caleb, he was a man of loyalty. He followed Moses. And after Moses' death, he followed Joshua. And of blessings. You know, when he was given Jordan, and uh, I'm sorry, Hebron in Jordan, he loved the place there because there were springs. And his daughter, Aksa, she came to him and said, Father, you know, I want the land with the springs. You know, in a desert place and all these places, springs are very useful. So he blessed her with it. Every father will do, la, huh? If the daughter comes and says, I want that, la, sure, the fathers will give. So he gave her that piece. He's a man of blessings. Now, ask yourself, are these qualities missing in our lives? Uh, Caleb's qualities, all these things. We seldom hear about people speaking on Caleb, isn't it? So after looking at his, all his qualities, are we missing so? If so, fix your vision on God's promises rather than your problems. <laughs> Nowadays it's like that. Every time it's my problem, my problem, this, that. 
but you must fix your eyes on, focus your eyes on God, and he will show you the way. And then he was a man of altitude. While the others were with fear, he focused on God and his promises, which were higher than any giant or walled city. Right? So here we see that there are many mm, characteristics of Caleb that we can undertake. Yes, that we can follow. Because, don't say because Caleb means wholehearted, but he really was man after God, God's will. Right? Now, the second one is wait patiently. Now, this wait patiently, is it something new to us? Huh? Is it something new? Think for yourself. Huh? Are you patient all the time? Or do you get, yeah, why are so late? Huh? Why are so long? Huh? You get, you know, frustrated. And human beings are like that. They rush into things rashly. Are you a pace? Porumai sali ar keringla? Illa nak ayo, nala katir kembali aja, nala jalan seyam kembali aja. Naa pora iya vali ente, poringla, yostu paringla. Huh? Na soldram, or sirik hadai, nama human beings, eppri nama rush pon ronte. Or apa, or or takapan, or puru khadiya wangi rinda aje. Puru khadiya wangi, what he did, you know. Of course, now when you buy a new car, you admire it, isn't it? You're standing there admiring his car, and then he had uh, something sharp, one screwdriver like that, sharp in his uh, mm, hands, and then if there is any dirt in the tire, what he can just, pick, you know, just uh, take it off. And then his son came. He had a son. He was six years old. He came. And then there were gra uh, stones, you know. What the son did was, he took a piece of stone, then he went to the new car where the father was, and then he started scribbling on the side of the door. What? Suddenly the father saw him scribbling. And do you think the father will keep quiet? Will you keep quiet if you are a father, if your son is doing such a thing to your new car? He came and caught hold of him, and the father Patient to get it down, okay? I want to go into our poor man, like I want to come on under the nala, I want to carry it under the sharp, the purchi, and the pay and carry it, but you have to cut it, cut it, cut it, and bear it, and bear it, and cut it, and bear it. After that, the pay and carry it, and the nariya, the tama, and the chi, I want to come on, taniya, marika, I want to send it under him. Send it for a way, and the pay and ask for it, and do it. Anger, anger, inna naran the chin pating na ke, and the doctor, so nare. Anda payah yang kaya la, nariya, kutu kutu air kita ni la, all the bones are gone, fractured, cannot do anything. We have to take off the fingers, and so the boy came out, the fingers were taken off, came out of the ward, and he was lying in the hospital. The father came, saw him, and the boy looked hopefully at the father and said, "Dad." Will my fingers grow? Asked the father. The father felt so sad. He cannot answer anything. He went back to his car. And he saw his car there. You know, he got angry because his son has lost all the fingers. Inna ya maham potu kerjina kadi le, apun itu meduwa side le poy, ada pata. You know what was written there? Love you, dad. The payah ni dia kira six year old boy. Love you, dad. And by the side he has drawn heart, two hearts, his heart and his father's heart. When the father saw it, how do you think the father would feel? If you are a father and you were in his place, he went straight inside and committed suicide. Yes, because he was not patient. Huh? He could have waited 
you know, to let his anger go off and take action, but he couldn't wait. Human beings are like that. Now during this uh, pandemic time, how many people do you read every day jumping from this floor, that floor, killing themselves? Some of them cannot wait patiently. They can't wait. Oh no, I cannot suffer like this. So here we have to learn uh, wait patiently. Okay? In Psalms 37 4, be still before the Lord and wait patiently. Today you have a problem? Go to the Lord. Be still. And then verse 5 says, Delight yourself in the Lord. He will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord and trust him. Now, Caleb waited patiently. You know how many years he waited? 40 over years. And today, when the land was going to be given out, he was 85 years old. But because he waited patiently and he was always following God wholeheartedly, fully close, I mean, his relationship was very close, God kept him alive. And he's telling uh, Joshua, my request. He put up his hand and said, Give me the land huh, that God blessed me with. Give me Hebron as my in inheritance. And you see, his patience, his whole heart, he, he wholeheartedly following God and waiting patiently won him the inheritance. Hebron as his inheritance. Today, again, think about yourselves. Are we patient? Please. Sometimes we cannot. Human beings are like that. But Caleb also was a human being. So let us learn to be patient. Now, there's another short story. You know of the hare and the tortoise? Hare, or you can call it a rabbit. Lah. Huh? The hare went to the tortoise and said, come, let's have a competition. See who can go first. Of course, the hare looking at the tortoise will know who is going to win. Oh, sure, I'm going to win. Proud fellows, huh? That's why they don't have patience. Hmm? And uh, the tortoise say, okay, la, come, no problem. So the next day morning, they set off. The tortoise was going slowly, slowly, whereas the hare ran as fast as it could. <sighs> and then suddenly it felt tired and slept on the way. But the tortoise, slow and steady, huh? walked, he walked slowly, slowly, and reached the destiny. And when the hare suddenly woke up, oh, where am I? Forgot everything, nah. Then he ran, but of no point, no value. The tortoise has already won the race. So in our lives today, learn to wait patiently and do things rationally, not hurry bari way, okay? Next, that's the last, I'm going to come to an end. Believe steadfastly. What do you understand by the word? Believe steadfastly. That is putting your trust and faith in the Lord. Psalms 37 verse 3 says, Trust in the Lord and do good. Always trust in the Lord. Put your trust and faith in the Lord. Firstly, when you put, when we put our trust and faith in the Lord, we be immovable and steadfast. We will become immovable and steadfast in our faith as it is the foundation of our relationship with God. Yes. Faith in our God is the foundation for us to have a closer relationship with God, active in physical response, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Are we abounding in the work of the Lord? Or when people ask you to do something, I say, no, la, I'm tired, I've got other things to do. No. Be immovable and steadfast. 
for a Christian uh, in our faith. Our faith is the foundation of our relationship. Read 2 Corinthians verse 8. Uh, chapter 8, verse 7. Second Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 7. And you will find ex uh, what Paul is telling. Excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and in your love. Also, Excel in the grace of giving. You see, giving is also very, very important. Okay? And another way where we can see a person believe steadfastly is eternal destiny. Our eternal de destiny, that is the end of our lives, depends upon the strength of our faith. Ephesians. 2 verse 8. Paul says this in Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. For it is by his grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not by works so that no one can boast. Yes. We cannot boast it's by ourselves, but it is by God. Hmm? He is the, this eternal life, the grace given to us is the gift of God. Okay, next we see, we should abound in utterance and proclamation of the gospel. That means, you should be going around speaking to people about the gospel, abound in utterance and proclamation of the gospel. In Mark 16, verse 15, what does Jesus say? Jesus said, go and preach the gospel to every creation. Are we doing it? Think for yourselves. Next. In 1 Peter chapter 3, 1 Peter 3, verse 15, it says, In your hearts set apart Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give a reason for the hope that you have. If your neighbor asks you, what hope have you? You must be able to give a reason. As believers, be ready to explain the basis. Do it gently and respectfully. Okay, this is our belief being set firstly. Now, the next one is abound in love. Now, love is the cornerstone of Christianity. Do you know that? It's the cornerstone of Christianity. First John verses, uh, chapter 4, verse 8. You know what it says? Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. You see? God is love. It's the cornerstone for Christians. And whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Matthew 22, verses 37 to 8, it says, The greatest commandment, what is the greatest commandment? To love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And the second is to love your neighbor as yourself. Okay? Love. Always we must abound in love. And next one, rejoice. What must we do to be Believe steadfastly. Hmm? Rejoice in the Lord. What In Philippians, Paul says, chapter 4, verses 4 to 7, do everything by prayer, petition, with thanksgiving. 
pre present your request to God. Always, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Now here we see prayer is very important in our lives. I'm sure all of you pray. It doesn't matter the time you take to pray, you know. Oh, I pray. He prays only 10 minutes. No. Whereas uh, I pray for one hour. It is how you close your relationship with God. Time does not matter. It's how humbly you ask God for things and you pray to him. It's a conversation between God and yourself. And next is reading the word of God daily. Read the Bible. Don't switch on the radio there and listen to the music and read. You won't understand a single thing. Concentrate and read the word of God. And now we know that all these things is, is for us to put our trust and faith in God. Don't forget love. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. Faith, hope, love. And what does Paul say? The greatest of all this is love. Right? Now, in conclusion, I would like to bring your notice to these things. Okay? Um, now, in the Bible, we see Abraham, Moses, Noah, and many others. They served the Lord faithfully. They served the Lord. Okay, Paul, David, and many others. We can name a lot. They all serve the Lord. Now, how can we also serve the Lord? How to serve the Lord? There are many ways to serve the Lord. Think about it. Okay, go home. Am I serving the Lord? In what way am I serving? Am I being patient, waiting for the Lord to call me? Think about it, and the Lord will answer you. Now, three qualities are needed. <coughs> Waiting patiently, we must serve the Lord wholeheartedly. Another thing, wholeheartedly, patiently, whenever the opportunity is given to us. It's God's calling, immaterial of our age. Hmm? How old was uh, Caleb, 85 years, and I think most of us are not even 80 yet. But don't say, it's, I'm old, I cannot do. Because like Cable, uh, I mean like uh, this man, uh, yes, like, um, yeah, Cable, we are strong and vigorous even at 90. We must give our best. When somebody, the pastor, or someone asks you to do something, do it wholeheartedly and, and without grumbling. Puruma yudan sayingal. Okay? Many of us are very impatient. Caleb waited patiently for God's Holy Spirit. You know the, sp uh, the fruit of the Spirit? There are how many fruits? Nine fruits. The fruit of the Spirit is... Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. See that we have these fruits of the Spirit in us. And allow God to develop the fruit in us. Growing steadfastly in our lives. Let's cling on to God's word. God's word, you know, every word of God is powerful. And every word of God is flawless. It is our, we take refuge in his words, right? Pray without ceasing. Yes, don't stop praying. Because praying is the conversation between you and God. Prayer brings victory. Yes, pray without ceasing. And read the word of God. 
faithfully every day because the word of God is sharper than any uh, two-edged sword. So today, the sermon title is Wholeheartedly Wait Patiently and Believe Steadfastly. Steadfastly. Muru Manadodum. Purume Yudan. Odom. Muru Nambike Yudum. Moon Karingala. Nam Devan at the Vaiti, Namakaringali Nartakumbo, Devan Nichia Maha. I'm Lori Tavikle Lam Sandiki Ravarai Kindra. Right now, let's go to Anamla Kangale Moody, Jebipo Maha. Thank you, Father God, for this time. And we want to thank you and praise your holy name, Father God, because you are in us. You are the one who's providing for us everything in our lives. So, Father God, let's look up to you and wait patiently, wholeheartedly, and believe steadfastly, putting our trust, hope, and everything in you, because our God knows our needs, and he will meet our needs in his richest glory. In Jesus' name, I humbly submit this prayer and say, Amen. <laughs> Pidaudia, Anbum, Parasuta with an yun acumum, Nam Anivorodum, Indumindum, Irpadhaga. Amen, Amen. Yeah.